HUDI stock, who had the International Group Co. Limited stock. It lost 12.61% in the session of uh, 26th of October 2022, and uh, only 79,600 shares crossed the tape, which is regarded as above average. And about um, a couple of sessions ago, that will be how many sessions ago? Uh, four sessions ago, that was uh, the Friday, the 21st of October. We projected that the stock it had a, we had a, an upper projection of about 70.42, highly ambitious, you know, compared to where it is today. You know, that 70.42 is also not very far off from its 52-week high of about 68 dollars and some fraction. But uh, we can clearly see what's been going on since uh, the 24th, you know, 24th, 25th, 25th, 26th. This is three. Uh, consistent uh, back to three back to back sessions of retracement for HUDI. It has now lost over 50% since that trading session since day 21st. It has lost over 50% of its uh, value, you know, and uh, it has broken through a major support which it was at 30.10. And also, if that support it was also a support we we determined we determined the support of the, our last support was uh, 29.95 so which is roughly about uh, uh, where its major support war is right now it has broken through that that's also where the 20-day uh, moving average is so the next couple of supports will be down at um, the 50-day moving average which is at 25.28 and after that the 200-day moving average which is at 22.71 and so those are the next sort of supports we are looking at right now and after that you know it could be down to its uh 20 day sorry 50 day, 52 week lows you know but in any case in any case um the volume seems to be gradually it has uh, gradually uh dropped off the volume you can see that the volume for this session was only 79,601 the that of uh, yesterday the 25th was also wondering it was higher by more than you know more than 100 percent of what it, it was today uh, at 189,300 and then that of the 24th monday 24th was 220,000 that of monday so that of friday was 219,804 you know so um we have also noticed that um this sort of level where it is right now is also right about where it has been since at least uh, mid, at least mid early to mid September. This this is around the price it has you know hov been hovering around. You know, so could it be that the bottom has been reached? Well, who knows? We may be disappointed if you, you may or I, you and I may be disappointed if we think it has reached the bottom. But what we know for sure is that. Um, HDI appears to be correcting within, but any more than even corrected, it has um, it has overcorrected. If if you know it has retraced way 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 more than you know a regular correct correction within a longer term bearish uh, trend. Although it's uh, MACD is presently below the signal line, shares remain 19.9 percent above an upward sloping 200 day moving average. It's also outperforming the S and P 500. Momentum for HUDI, HUDI is strongly bearish. The 14 period slow stochastic oscillator is below 20, the level which many analysts call oversold. You can see that. So, you know, some, it's beginning to add up. It's current, the momentum is indicated that the stock is over, over, oversold. This means that investors have been actively selling shares and driving the price lower, yes. And uh, the volume for this last trading session was lighter than usual, trading 79,552 shares versus an average of you can see that the average of the last 12 months is 205,535 per day during the last 12 months the unbalanced volume indicator is bearish the slope of the open indicator is negative and suggests that there is a lack of buying interest but don't also be deceived by don't be deceived so much by this uh, 12 month average because this 12 month average may have been influenced by maybe more recent volumes more recent volumes or rather May have been influenced by um, certain days they had um, hugely large figures, but you know, well, if well, I, even at that, even at that, you know, all the way back to August, yes, it has had um, a couple of sessions where it had um, 
unusually large figure so but yes you know if you remove some of these figures you know some of these uh, triple digits no, not triple digit six digit uh, volume figures maybe you might get a better picture of what a volume is right now but um yeah but even at that I, I just feel that um, those these large figures you know may have maybe uh, may, maybe skewing what the actual picture is on the stock but you know you, you should normally expect uh, or rather you wouldn't be um, it wouldn't be out of place to expect that um, maybe at this point it might it might it, it may it may it may it may be cooling off you know this retracement may be coming to an end you know but if that is the case upper projections are thirty one point seven four dollars thirty seven thirty seven dollars forty two point one five and after that you know it's, uh, you know it could be anything else you know so HEDI um more than corrected has cooled off retracing but still uh, in a stronger but still within a longer term bullish trend okay so see what you make of hedi and uh, thank you very much for watching this video